Welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm going to be building a precision reference box using these uh, very nice resistors that Vichy has provided for me as free samples. These are from their VHP100 series and they are the duck's guts when it comes to precision resistors. They have incredible stability across the entire range of uh, minus 55 up to plus 125 degrees Celsius they will vary less than 60 ppm so as you can see they had to define this number over the entire range because if they would have done it traditionally per degree celsius the number would have been essentially zero these are built using a special technology called uh, bulk metal foil which is uh, wrapped on a ceramic substrate then the whole assembly is uh, suspended in oil and hermetically sealed in these uh, metal cans and so they become immune to humidity changes every one of these uh, resistors is uh, basically custom made as you can see uh, they all have this uh, individual serial number written on them and uh, you can order them in any value because uh, they make these custom as expected they don't come cheap purchasing these in some standard values carried at the uh, big distributors will cost you around $70 a piece. Now Vichy have been uh, kind enough to measure these on, a, on their um, laboratory grade seven digit uh, multimeter at their facility. They sent me this uh, measurement sheet. So before I'm, I get started working on this, I will take some measurements of these with the most important multimeters I have here just to check if the multimeters are still in spec on their resistance measurement and also to do a uh, before and after um, measurement on the uh, resistors. For the uh, actual construction I'm going to be using this um, extruded aluminium enclosure. Uh, these uh, Hirschman uh, binding posts and some silver copper wire. The uh, discussion whether to use uh, more expensive tellurium copper binding post over these uh, gold plated brass ones uh, is still open. I have started a thread on the EV block forum and people suggested that for the purpose that I'm going to use them the thermoelectric voltage would be so small uh, that it would not interfere with my measurements. But no one mentioned any clear numbers. One thing is for sure it was way over my budget to get binding posts that cost uh, $25 or $30 a piece just to go uh, all in and uh, go with the um, tellurium copper binding post. So the plan here is to drill some holes on the enclosure for the binding posts, install the binding posts on the enclosure, solder some of these, uh, some of these solder wire uh, as a bus bar between the binding posts and then soldering the resistors. I'll have to take uh, special care not to thermally stress these uh, resistors while soldering them and in any case I would have to send these in for calibration after they've been uh, soldered because it's likely their absolute value which has been measured might shift uh, after they've been soldered. However, uh, the most important thing is to not affect their stability. I certainly want to keep that intact. I want to arrange the binding post to allow for four wire measurements. So I'm going to be using four terminals, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to use four binding posts for each of the resistors. So I've made a diagram to show you what I mean. Now, uh, because we are using a four wire measurement, a Kelvin connection, we are eliminating any errors caused by the resistance of the measurement path. The uh, black terminals will carry the current, these will be the force terminals, while the red terminals will allow measurement of the resistors uh, right, at, right at its uh, terminals. Now the measurement current will go over this uh, bus bar and uh, considering how thick this is, it, I will use one millimeter thick uh, copper wire, um, it will have no noticeable effect, it will not introduce any measurement error uh, for these uh, resistors just because it travels this short distance over the uh, thick copper wire. Another thing is that I will be connecting the uh, smaller value resistors first 
so I'm gonna go like this 1k 10k 100k uh, because um, if we go further to the left and let's say theoretically the resistance of this uh, bus bar will increase slightly compared to the uh, value of the resistor the resistor is um, orders of magnitudes uh, higher than the resistance of the bus bar so it will have basically no effect on our uh, measurements and by using uh, this type of uh, connection I will be saving four terminals from these two resistors for drilling the uh, enclosure I have uh, prepared this uh, template where I have the uh, binding post spaced at exactly three quarters of an inch or 19.05 millimeters away from each other this way I can use uh, double banana connectors uh, if needed and it makes it uh, neat and tidy uh, ideally I would have wanted to have the uh, binding posts arranged uh, like this horizontally but there's no way I can fit it uh, on this type of enclosure so I'm gonna have them uh, placed uh, something like this so I will have to keep it uh, vertically like this when using uh, the three resistors will go in here so I'm going to pause the video for a moment and uh, go drill these uh, holes I've uh, drilled the holes I marked earlier with an 8 millimeter drill and this is the end result this is how the front panel is going to look I kind of like the uh, model of these binding posts because these are the uh, slim type these are not the ones that uh, are about this big so I kind of like when I build my enclosures to make them as small as possible and uh, have this uh, really slim aspect the next step is to uh, solder the connections according to the diagram I showed earlier and I'm going to start by uh, soldering this thick uh, bus bar which uh, like I mentioned earlier is going to be done with this uh, one millimeter thick uh, silver copper wire at uh, this point at the end of the uh, bus bar I'm going to use this uh, 3d printed part that I have uh, designed and printed on uh, uh, myself and uh, I'm going to use this part uh, right at the end of the bus bar to support it at the uh, same at the same height as the uh, binding posts I will link uh, all of the parts used in this uh, project in the description below now regarding soldering on these uh, resistor Vichy have two documents available and uh, they give some general info on uh, soldering they say you should use no more than 300 degrees Celsius with no more than five seconds and the resistors body should be at least 10 millimeters away from the PCB in my case uh, 10 millimeters the soldering should be done at least 10 millimeters away from the body of the resistor so I've done some uh, some tests and I know I can solder reliably at uh, 290 degrees Celsius with my soldering iron using this uh, standard uh, 6040 leaded uh, solder wire and I'm also going to be using uh, some kind of a wet sponge placed on the body of the resistors to act as a heat sink and uh, dissipate the heat for the actual soldering I'm also going to be using some uh, gel flux I'm using some genuine Amptec uh, 559 ASM this stuff is really good for soldering this knife tip feels perfect for the job just because I have that slot on the uh, connectors and the blade just fits very nice in that slot so I've uh, soldered the uh, thick bus wire but now I have to do the hardest part which are the uh, resistors and to keep them cool I plan to use this uh, piece of foam it's like sponge type and uh, I have made a small slot in here I'm going to insert this like a sleeve over the body of the resistor then I'm going to soak this with some uh, water to keep the body of the resistor cool while I do the soldering I've got the soldering iron set for 290 degrees Celsius
So now after I finished uh, soldering, I realized I made this uh, really stupid mistake. Um, I should have soldered these like I planned, like 1K, 10K, 100K, but, but I instead soldered the 100K in the middle. So um, I guess, well, it's a stupid mistake, but it's not such a big deal because uh, I can just fix the silk screen that will go on the front panel to show the 100k in the middle but it's just like my uh, my OCD is not going to easily accept uh, that kind of uh, front panel but it is what it is and uh, I would not want to stress the resistors by uh, attempting to desolder and soldering them again so I'm gonna leave it as it is uh, all I have to do now is just uh, add some uh, glue to this uh, mounting post just to add a bit of uh, mechanical strength to this uh, connection bar. And now to complete the assembly there are a few screws that I need to insert. I will add some of these uh, silicone uh, rubber bumpers on the back. I have also prepared a couple of stickers. So this is the end result. I think my resistor reference box uh, turned out quite okay. It was a nice build and it will be used in future videos for sure. From now on, every multimeter I review will be tested on this resistance reference box. However, I would like to get this measured again on a calibrated multimeter and get a new set of reference measurements. Those that I got from V-Shape measured on the resistors at the factory might have changed slightly after the final assembly, so that's the reason I would like to have this uh, uh, box recalibrated. As always, thank you for watching this video, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, maybe hit the like or dislike button to send me some feedback, and I will see you next week with a new video.